think all of us learn from the COVID experience and I specifically learn from my injury experience to be more grateful about the things we have, uh, even though there are many challenges in the world right now and many things that are taken away from us. I think that uh, shows us that we should take nothing for granted. Even with everything that's going on right now, we can always find things we're grateful for. Like now I'm, I'm grateful for my, for my able body that everything is working. I'm grateful for a great education here. There's, there's always things that, that we can be grateful for and that, that helps a lot in these times. I was born in a very small town in Germany. We only have like 700 people living there, maybe. Um, growing up as a big family person, a uh, great family, a little sister of my parents, obviously. And uh, my dad was my first coach. So I started playing soccer when I was around three or four years old. In Germany, everybody plays soccer everywhere you go. I played at my hometown club, even though we have such a small town, we have our own club. I played there until I was uh, 10 years old. And then I transferred directly to a big academy club in, in Nuremberg. I was a goalie as long as I can almost think. I, I didn't start as a goalie. I made a couple tries out in the field as a four-year-old that didn't go so well. Obviously at that age, nothing goes well, but um, I think it was inspired by a professional uh, player. Not very, very well known here in America, but Oliver Kahn used to be the German national goalkeeper at the time when I was a little boy and I used to watch him and I was just amazed by him and a fan by him. He's like known for his intensity and for his strong will. And that apparently appealed to me when I was already four or five years old. So I wanted to go and I was always in goal. Didn't regret the decision to this day. The thing in Germany is you cannot combine playing on a high level and going to university. So after under 19s, after the junior level is over, I was faced with a decision whether I want to try to turn pro in Germany or whether I want to continue to go to university. I was always a decent student and I kind of wanted to do both. And at the time I had no clue what the difference was between Division 1, between Division 3. Uh, what appealed to me is that NC State just brought in a new coaching staff. They said they have great opportunities, which I now know it's true, and that they want to rebuild the program. That uh, The program was um, losing a little bit uh, of their historic uh, dominance and that we want to reinstate that. And instead of just being another player at a really established program that is winning their conference every year, I like the idea of trying to rebuild something and earn back respect for NC State. And up the field, Sousa on the charge. There's a wide open net, Crop down on the turf, he's hurt. It was the first game of the season. We're all very, very excited. We came from a good win against UNC in an exhibition match last year. I knew immediately that uh, something, something bad happened. Uh, like I was never, I was lucky enough that I never got really severely injured before, and that was different from everything I've, I've felt before. So. Straight now, I can't tell whether they're holding his knee or his ankle. Either way, it was not a pretty sight. He seemed to be in a lot of pain. Very frustrated. I think the most important thing about leadership, no matter where it is, is uh, it starts with you. So like you have to be a leader by example first. I think I have very ingrained in my mindset that I focus on the things that I can control and not worry about the things that I cannot control. When I got injured, I very quickly realized that something is hurt, bad hurt, and that I can't do anything about it. So I immediately switched my focus on, on the rehab process. So instead of seeing myself as a soccer athlete for a year, I looked at myself as a rehab athlete. And I approached it with the same competitiveness as I approach uh, playing soccer. And I try to be the best uh, patient you can possibly be. And that gave me a purpose as well. And that helped me through it as well. So it didn't feel like I wasn't an athlete for a year. It just felt like I was doing a different sport. I approach it with focusing on our core values, focusing on the culture we want to build. And obviously as a leader, it's, it's my responsibility to help the younger players with that or also the more established players. And I'm just trying to set a good standard for, for everyone on the team. And I think that will help us win in the end as well. There's a lot of uncertainty, so I'm not going to set any specific goals uh, in terms of numbers. Uh, so I think we're, we're doing well if we focus on ourselves and focus on the process.